Welcome to My Gospel Music. I'm Bill Trailer, and I have a very special guest today, Mr. Joe Thrasher of the Thrasher Brothers. He's lived an entire life of gospel music and has a lot of stories, and I know you're going to enjoy this, so stay tuned. We'll be right back with my very special guest, Mr. Joe Thrasher, right here on My Gospel Music. Welcome to My Gospel Music, and I am here with my dear friend, Mr. Joe Thrasher. Joe. Howdy, Bill. Thanks for being here, pal. <laughs> thanks. It's good to be here. <laughs> You've got quite a history in gospel music, and, and with, with a, a diversion for a period of time to country music. Yeah, that's true. And then back to gospel. That's true. And, um, but uh, you, Buddy, your brother, and... Uh, Jim. Jim, your brother. Mm -hmm. Uh, I started calling him Jimmy, but I don't think he goes by that, does he? He goes by Jim, yeah. and uh, it's, his name is James Allen. Oh, excuse Thrasher. me. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> then Buddy's name is Clyde. Oh, really? Clyde Lamar Thrasher. <laughs> yeah. I'd call myself Buddy, too. I would, too. <laughs> and I'm just Joe. <laughs> well, you guys started, uh, I mean, your family, your parents had a great influence, I think, probably on you? My mother was a music teacher. Oh, okay. She was a piano teacher and a, and and uh, some vocal as well. Yeah. She trained we three brothers to sing together at ages uh, six, eight, and 10. Wow. As a trio and singing in three-part harmony. Yeah. And we did our first concert when I was six. Really? Yeah. Now what part did you sing? I sang the high lead. I was actually uh, pretty much the- The girl's part. Yeah. <laughs> back to, all three of us sounded like girls. <laughs> Unchanged voices, of course. That's great. Yeah. I guess there's no footage of that anywhere, right? I wish there were, but uh, not to my knowledge. Uh, that was uh, many, many years ago. And our first concert was in a little town called Fruithurst, Alabama. Really? We were from up in Heflin, yeah. Alabama. The big city of... The big city of Heflin. <laughs> and uh, we, uh, we had uh, about, they said... It was in the elementary school auditorium. Right. I say we had about between three and four hundred people. Wow! So, uh, and I somebody think, must have. And uh, I think they charged a dime. Oh, did they? <laughs> yeah. I never did see. Could any have been of that forty money, bucks. Though. Though. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have been big money for a six-year-old. Yeah, sure. But when, as you went along with that and going through school and everything, when did it dawn on you that that perhaps you wanted a career in music? Well, I don't think it, there was ever a time that I didn't want to really be wow. in the music industry. Yeah. Um, was was you know we were able to sing growing up together the yeah. to the brothers we were called the Thrasher yeah. Brothers yeah. trio, right. and my mother played the piano. And then when I was about ten, we won the uh, Ted Mack show. It was called the Ted Mack Amateur Hour. Original Amateur Hour. The original Amateur Hour. And uh, that was in 1954. Isn't that the same thing the Blackwood Brothers won too? That was the Odd for Godfrey Talent Show. Yeah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I remember Ted Mack, original yeah. amateur hour. Yeah, it was, uh, we won it uh, locally, when I say locally, in Alabama, and then we went to New York City and won wow. it nationally. Wow. And we got so to So you travel. were on national television. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we traveled with the Ted Mack troupe for a couple of years yeah. and the NBC orchestra. Yeah. We'd go all these different cities across the country, and they would hold these. This was like these real early talent search right. shows. I was just going to say, America's Got Talent mm -hmm. has nothing on. It's not a new idea. No, I mean, that's what no. you guys did. Yeah, and we were fortunate enough to win it, and then that just catapulted you know, the group sure. to another status, so to speak. Yeah. And we were working as children along with the Blackwoods, wow. the Blackwood Brothers, the Statesmen, and the Spears, yeah. <laughs> Lefevers, and the Harmoniers Quartet, and a lot of different Blue Ridge Quartet. Right. And during those real, real early days. Yeah. And so being a kid, uh, we were always in awe of our uh, uh, peers, you know, the, the uh, Four Port Harmony groups. And, yeah. and eventually we evolved into a full quartet. Right. So uh, did that for many, many years, and uh, I'd have to say that it was... Uh, a, a wonderful way to make your living, sure, and also a wonderful way to spread the gospel. And lots of memories. And lots uh, of memories. Uh, you guys had your own TV show back in those days. We did. I think it started in 1968, mm -hmm. and it was called uh, America Sings. Yeah. 
And uh, it was on, uh, at one point, I think it was on about 125 wow. TV stations wow. every week. Yeah. That was in the syndication process mm -hmm. during those days. Oh, yeah, sure. So, uh, but uh, that actually spread the name, mm -hmm. uh, Thrasher Brothers, across the country and th that kind of thing. So, it, uh, it's been, uh, it was a wonderful career. Well, I remember in 1974 when I first became aware of the Thrasher Brothers, and you guys came out, if I'm not mistaken, Red Suits? Yeah, it's probably true. Yeah, well, we have a video clip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, who's singing bass on this? That's John Gresham. John Gresham, great bass singer. Yes, he was. And uh, so we're going to play that right now. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, here are the Thrasher Brothers. What year would you say, approximately? I'd say this would have been probably about 1970, 71. 70, 71. The Thrasher Brothers. I once was lost in sea. Jesus took me and in a little light from the heaven feel my soul. It made my heart in love and broke my name of love and just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in, and then a little light from heaven. Welcome back to My Gospel Music. I am here with my dear friend, Mr. Joe Thrasher, and one of the founding members, brothers of the Thrasher Brothers, and that's what we're talking about. That was uh, the Thrasher Brothers from around 1970, 71? Yeah, in yeah, that time John frame. John Gresham singing John bass. Gresham was our uh, bass singer for, oh, 20-something odd wow. years. Wow, wow. And uh, he, he uh, is deceased. Yeah. He had a... Uh, brain tumor wow. at the age of 50 really? wow. and passed away and he also sang with the Rebels Quartet yeah. out of Tampa, Florida. In fact, he uh, was with the Rebels and, and then joined the Thrasher Brothers and was with us you for You know, his, years. his voice uh, reminds me of our dear friend that we sang with for a while, uh, Herman Harper. Yep. Had yep. a similar style and yep. sound to that. Sure did. Um, you guys, uh, uh, as you progressed as a gospel group, 
the Thrasher Brothers, you took a turn for a bit of time into country music. We did. Uh, we were we recorded for Word Records for a number of years, right. and uh, and we recorded in 1974. We had the song "One Day at a Time, Sweet oh, yeah. Jesus." A big hit for you. Yeah, and it's uh, actually the biggest song we ever had. Yeah. Uh, in any genre of music, and Chris Christopherson, of course. Uh, and Mary he, John Wilkins. And Mary John Wilkins right. were the co-writers on right. that song. And they brought it to us, and Don Light was our yeah. producer at that time. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, with Word. And anyway, we recorded it, and uh, they put a single out on it, and within a couple of weeks after we cut it, yeah. and, and it took off, and yeah. of course uh, the rest is history. Well, and it, cro it crossed over into it did. Uh, the country market, it did the pop market, and it was uh, it was somewhat of an eye opener for us mm -hmm. because uh, you know uh, that old saying goes, "You're only as strong as your last hit," yeah. so to speak. <laughs> That's probably more true in uh, other genres of music, yeah. maybe more than just gospel. Yeah, but uh, we did segue uh, into the country. I'd call it the country slash pop field. Right, right. Uh, we recorded and was signed by MCA Records. I remember that. And Jim Fogel's song was our producer. I remember Jim, great guy. During those days. And uh, we had some uh, uh, really nice and neat success in that field. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's also a very, very competitive field from right. the standpoint of quartets. Mm -hmm. You had the Statler brothers, you had the Oak Ridge boys, and then right. you had the Thrasher brothers, right. but that that's somewhat of a crowded feel when it comes yeah. to quartets. Sure. But anyway, it worked out well and we were fortunate enough to uh, record uh, a theme song on CBS. Um, the, the theme song was called Best of Friends. Yeah. And uh, I'm trying to think of the TV show. I'm going <laughs> blank here. Uh, oh, this gosh. is unscripted, by the way. Yeah, that's true. It'll come to me in okay, a second. Okay. Yeah. But just anyway. Just all of a sudden, uh, 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 I remember uh, uh, a gospel artist uh, had just had a uh, a, a brand new grandbaby, and they were on the, the Ralph Emery show. Oh wow! And uh, Ralph Emery asked the guy. You know, what's uh -huh. the name of your grandbaby? And he couldn't remember. Uh -huh. and, uh, and then all of a sudden it moves over to somebody else in the interview. And you can hear him in the background go, Marla. It <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you could just shout it out as we're going on. Yeah, the I, I, it probably, that's probably That'd the way right. it works. You know, or either wake up in the morning at 2 a.m. and go, yeah. <laughs> never will get to watch his name. You know? <laughs> well, you had, a, you had a great career. I loved your music and country music. You guys had a great look and a great sound. And Buddy and uh, Jim are trumpet players. Yeah. Are, are you a trumpet player as no, well? No, no. I, uh, I played some bass and, and some drums from yeah. time to time, but yeah. no, I never got the trumpet. Well, they, as a matter of fact, we have a country video clip of the song, Best of Friends. Uh, it doesn't feature my great tenor singer I got sitting right here, <laughs> but we have something coming up for you on that. You'll want to stay tuned for that. But it does feature the trumpets and that song you just mentioned. Okay, sure. So let's watch that. Called Best of Friends. Yeah, by the Thrasher Brothers, right here on My Gospel Music.
Welcome back to My Gospel Music. I'm here with my dear friend Joe Thrasher. And uh, Joe, we just came out of a television clip that helps you out a lot. That's true. It, it's, uh, <laughs> the name of the TV show was Simon and Simon. Yeah. And it was a, a immensely popular show on oh, yeah. CBS during those days. <clears throat> what happened, we were on MCA Records, yeah. but it was a CBS TV show. Yeah. So they sent out uh, to Nashville, out of California, <clears throat> excuse me, to uh, find someone to do the uh, theme song for this mm -hmm. new TV show. Well, they went through all the CBS artists, yeah. and so they tapped the Gatlin brothers huh. for, for to do it. And, uh, and then as it turned out, uh, a good friend of Jim Fogel's songs, our producer, had called and said, aren't you producing the Thrasher brothers? And he said, yes. And, said, well, how about y'all going into the studio yeah. and cutting it and let's see if it works. So we did and, yeah. and they chose that. And one. I would say Larry hasn't let you forget that to this day. Well, I haven't talked to him about it lately, but <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, we're, we've been friends for a long, long time. Well, the Thrasher Brothers made a huge uh, impression <clears> and <throat> uh, uh, a legacy in gospel music and country music. And I can remember in 1989, we were friends and I called you up and I called up our friend Herman Harper and yep. our other dear friend Ben Spear right. and said, we got a project we want to do for television mm -hmm. and would you be interested in coming in and do it unless forming this group called the Homeland Quartet. Yeah. And we never did do the project for television, but we did sing together as a quartet for 25 years. And had a lot of fun. We did. And, and I tell you, uh, I have to, uh, I'm, this may sound a little uh, braggadocious, but mm -hmm. But uh, the Homeland Quartet always put out good quality quartet yeah. music. Mm -hmm. and, and at that time, we sort of had the, I guess you call it the forethought between the four of us, mm -hmm. all knowing of the, we call it the uh, pure quartet right, harmony, right. to go and, and do some of the older songs, mm -hmm. but also we cut some new things too. We did, yeah. But it was a lot of fun. And uh, I think we cut some very, very good material. We, I'm uh, proud of it. Well, I am too. And uh, I, and uh, without sounding, as you said, braggadocious, yeah. I listen to it sometimes and I go, I'm so pleased and grateful to have been a part of all of that because Absolutely. you're a professional in what you do with Thrasher Brothers. Ben Spear, everybody knows, is right. a professional. Uh, Herman Harper, who was the original bass before his passing, and then uh, Jerry Sowards right. replaced uh, Herman. But uh, Herman, our first bass singer, a professional, sang on the Opry, sang with the Oak Ridge right. Boots, and uh, did so many things. I was the odd man out coming in there, and uh, you guys used to make fun of me because we'd start to sing, <laughs> and I would start sweating because <laughs> I'm around all these pros, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. But I got to tell you, one of the one of the special moments, and I mean this in all sincerity, for myself, and I used to love to hear Ben Spear just sit, stand over there and just sort of chuckle under his breath, not from a laughing standpoint, just from pure pleasure of listening to you sing this song called Walk With Me. We're gonna play that in just a bit, right. but uh, um, I saw you night after night go, go up and it's got some high notes to it. And you just, I don't know, you go into another gear or something. <laughs> what, what is that? Well, I, I'm not sure what that gear is. But you know uh, what I'm talking I, about. I do. I saw you do it, I, physically. Uh, I, I've never been able to sing in a false set of voice. Mm -hmm. I just, it was never there. Yeah. But uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to uh, study at the Conservatory of Music at Birmingham Southern College wow. in Birmingham and majored in voice. And uh, I was able to take care of my voice, but being able to sing correctly right. and your placement, and that's mm -hmm. very important for a tenor. Yeah. And the older you get, mm. the tougher that can be. Now, bass singer, the older he gets, the more <laughs> his voice settles down, yeah, right. you know, and baritones yeah, and those you, kinds the of The tenor things. has a problem. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but you always did a great job on the lead, Bill. Oh, you, right. you have a smooth voice and, uh, and, and our blend was a natural blend. Uh, it in was. My it was, and uh, I always appreciated the assistance when I might go a little flat on a note. <laughs> Joe would put his arm around me like he was just loving on me. No, he was pointing, going up, go up, up. 
Well, sometimes you've got those little secrets you have to use. Well, that's you know. right. That's yeah. right. Absolutely. Well, this is no secret that this song coming up next uh, features Joe. We all just stand back and do a little background singing with you, but it was always a pleasure and uh, still is. And uh, just appreciate your talent so much. Well, thank you, Bill. I, I appreciate those compliments, but it's always a pleasure to be able to sing with you and Ben and, and uh, Herman yeah. in his day and then Jerry, yeah. of course. Yeah. But, uh, you know, um, there's, there's singers uh, sometimes, you know, you go out and you're singing for everybody else. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you actually will end up singing for yourselves. Yeah. And especially when you get a real good blend. Yeah. Oh, when yeah. it comes to a four part It's a harmony. thrill, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And you go, hey, let's do that again. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to do this again. Here's Joe Thrasher with the Homeland Quartet backing him up. Beautiful voice and an incredible song. Walk with me, Joe Thrasher. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Joe Thrasher, Mr. Ben Smear, Mr. Jerry Sowers, and Joe Thrasher with the Thrasher Brothers for 38 years. Thanks. Walk with me. Joe Thrasher, walk with me. Joe, thank you so much. It's, it's been pleasure. such a pleasure to have you here. With all the years that you've had in gospel music, there's got to be different moments that stand out for you. Have you got a special one that you can share with us before we go? Well, uh, that's sort of a loaded question yeah. there, but uh, <laughs> there's been so many. Yeah. But I guess one of the things that has stood out in my mind through the many, many years was 
we were doing a, a show in Minneapolis, and mm -hmm. we were there for two days. Yeah. And we were with George Burns. Really? And this was right when the movie Oh God had yeah, been released, sure. and it was just popping. Yeah. <clears throat> so we were there for uh, an afternoon, an evening show for two nights straight. Mm -hmm. And uh, George moved all of his clothes into our dressing room. <laughs> and he spent the whole time with us. And, and you know, he had that uh, cigar he oh, yeah. always had all the time. Yeah. And he, he made comments to us about how much he enjoyed our music, but he mm -hmm. said, your gospel music, uh, he said, just stands out. And he said, I could sit all night and listen to really? you sing wow. the, the good gospel. Yeah. So that was And you know, more, more than likely, he hadn't really heard that before. No, not, probably not, not yeah. in that fashion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, artists such as yourself, you as an individual, your group, the Thrasher Brothers, you make a lot of impact on a lot of people that you'll never know about until yeah. our Father in Heaven uh, reveals all those things <clears> to true. us. Yeah, Very so true. Thank you so much for being here. Thank it's you, a real Bill. pleasure. I love you. It's been my pleasure. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Folks, we'll be back again here on My Gospel Music, and thanks to Joe Thrasher for being with us today. We'll see you the next time right here. Bye-bye. We that love the Lord and let our joys be known, join in a song with sweet accord, join in a song with sweet accord, and thus around the throne, and thus around the throne, we're marching to Zion. Thanks for watching My Gospel Music. For more information, go to www.mygospelmusic.tv. While you're there, you can send us an email and let us know any thoughts you may have about the show or give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. The site also contains information about My Gospel Music's guests and where to find their recordings. All that and more is waiting for you at www.mygospelmusic.tv. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you back here next week.